What's up YouTube? This is Cody here with iPhoneHacks.com and today I'm going to be showing you guys the new iPhone 5S iSight camera. It takes 8 megapixel photos and has a larger sensor f2.2 aperture. So the first thing that I do want to show you is the slow motion video. So the slow motion video is going to take videos at 120 frames per second. So let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, so here's the slow-mo video that I just recorded. Now you can see here, if you go into the video, this, all, everything between these two black lines are actually the part that's going to be in slow motion. And if you just hold it and scroll slowly, then you can see that it spaces that out a little bit for you so you can get a more precise split. So since all this is just blank space, as I was getting ready to drop this stuff out, we'll just start it. We'll give it a little bit of a uh, normal pace at the beginning and then we'll slow the rest of it down. And this is it in action. So if you're looking for your slow-mo videos and you want to do it through the camera roll, if you just tap moments right here and you're looking at your thumbnails, there's actually a little emblem right there that indicates that those videos are in slow-mo. So that makes it really easy to find, as you can see right there. So you can tell that the slow-mo video works really well. Now the next thing that I want to talk to you guys about is the True Tone Flash. It recognizes the lighting condition and uses white and amber flashes to take the best photo. So this is me here just taking some sample photos so you can get a good look at the color of the flash. Here's a comparison to the iPhone 5. You can see that it's quite a bit brighter and a lot more white. There's no amber flash to it. So here's a side by side. You can see the amber color on the left against the iPhone 5 white flash. All right, so this is video of the iPhone 5S taking a picture in very low light conditions and it came out really crisp and clear. Now here's a comparison to the iPhone 5 in the exact same conditions. And there's that photo. Now you can see if I go ahead and put these side by side, you'll notice that the iPhone 5S definitely outperformed the iPhone 5. Now if you can't tell, let me go ahead and zoom in here. You can see that the Game Center icon from the box in the picture is actually a whole lot clearer on the iPhone 5S in comparison to the iPhone 5. And that's due to the low light conditions and that true tone flash being able to figure out exactly what the lighting is in the room and accounting for it. Next we're going to take a look at the burst mode on the iPhone 5S and it takes 10 photos per second. Now all you have to do is point and hold down your finger on the shutter button and as long as you're holding it down it's still going to continue taking photos. Just lift your finger off and then it'll stop. So let's take a look at that. So here are all the pictures from the burst mode. So you can see here up in the top left hand corner it says burst in 86 photos. Now if I scroll to the right they're not going to be there and if I scroll to the left none of those pictures are going to be there either. What you have to do to access those photos is tap on favorites and then here are all 86 photos. So to get them in your camera roll you would just have to tap these. Just tap a few of them or whichever ones you like the best. We'll just tap those four and then tap done. Now when we go back to the camera roll, if we just scroll to the left here, here are all your favorite photos. Now the 86 photos are actually accessible from any of these photos that you saved. So if you just saved one photo right here, we can tap on favorites, and then you have all of your photos here as well. Now one thing to mention when you take burst photos, this first thumbnail or this picture right here is actually one of the best photos that the camera app already automatically chose. And if you tap on choose favorites here, you'll see that it has a gray dot right here. Now the blue check marks are the ones that I've selected. So you can see here that if I swipe over here, here is another gray dot. So that means that this is another one of the pictures that the camera app selected as one of the best. Now it typically will choose more than one if it's in an action shot, which this was. So you'll see here, here's another one. So there's multiple of these. Now, once you choose the ones that you want, so let's say I wanted to choose this one as well. We'll tap done. 
and then all those photos are still here to the left and now let's say we wanted to delete the rest of them so what we have to do is go over to the burst album here and we're just going to tap on the trash can so this says keep your six favorites and delete the 80 photos from one burst so all of them are going to delete except for the ones that you chose we'll just tap delete and now they're all gone so there you go there are the favorites right there so definitely a huge upgrade for the camera from the iPhone 5 to the iPhone 5s there's a lot more features within the camera and it's gonna enable you to do a lot more things with it so what do you guys think about the new camera let me know in the comments below alright guys if you enjoyed this video please hit that like button if you want to see more of my videos then go ahead and subscribe alright guys until next time this is Cody with iPhonehacks.com